part? Oh. Yeah. Yes, yes, you heard correctly. The clippers are a little dysfunctional at the moment. Um, basically, Lewis Williams, you know, the sixth man of the year. Drake made a song about him. Former Laker. Wow. Decided to go to Magic City and attend a gentleman's club. All of this was while he was supposed to be in the NBA bubble. He left. He broke the NBA bubble, burst it, if you will, to go to a gentleman's club with a rapper. hate to see it. I hate to see it. <sighs> oh, I have worse news. Clipper fans, lean in. He's going to miss the first two seeded games. <laughs> Gentlemen, you cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. You know, I mean, imagine this was a Laker player. Imagine the headlines. Imagine what the Clipper fans would be saying. All three of them. <laughs> Regardless, um, it had to be the, the Clippers. And I do feel bad. Yes, I do feel bad. But it, it is what it is. You know, he made his decision. Now I see online he's saying he just went for the wings. I guess there's good food there. He just went for the wings. He just went to a restaurant to get some wings. You should have winged yourself into the NBA bubble. You should be outside the NBA bubble. Regardless, you're putting your team at risk, you know? And, 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 and we're talking about the Lakers. You know, we're talking about the Lakers, but Alex Caruso skipped his sister's wedding <gasps> so that he could stay in the NBA bubble. Wow! And you left for some wings. Now, listen, listen, at the end of the day, let's be honest, let me be realistic. Is it that big of a deal? No. Let's be, let me be honest, let me be honest, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the Clippers are what, like third seed? We're first seed, you know what I mean? But the Clippers are third seed, they're not gonna fall out of the playoffs in what, two games? You know what I mean? And they're not, and they have good enough players, they have a deep roster, all right? So they're gonna be able to survive not having Lou Will, even though that is their sixth man. Great scorer, all of that, it's not a big deal. You know, for them, it's not a big deal. It's just the principle of it. You know, and it's kind of embarrassing. Like, imagine being the first team that someone literally broke quarantine and it's affecting the actual games. I think there was another rookie that broke quarantine, a rookie, to get some food. I mean, expect that out of a rookie, but, you know, Clippers. I decided to come on here and just, just share that fact with you real quick. I didn't know if you guys knew. I didn't know if you guys knew. Their chemistry in the bubble has seemed to be a little bit off in that in their games, they're not really as cohesive as they were in the regular season. Now, this is just scrimmages. This is just scrimmages. So I don't want to take too much out of that. I don't want everyone to jump on me. Oh, it's just scrimmages. I understand that. So I'm gonna wait until the regular season commences the regular season. But um, I just want to see how they do because it's it's been a little maybe they're just knocking the rust off. We'll just say that. But Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's looked a little bit rough at times. Not like they're bad or anything, but they're just not really rolling like they were before. And now uh, we have people breaking quarantine. Oh. Whatever the reason was. I mean, it really doesn't matter. He was there to attend the gentleman's club as reports are saying. He's saying he just went to get some wings. Regardless, the point is, you know, there's a, a championship on the line. There's a whole season you have to attend to. You could have chosen not to go back to the bubble. Any player, you know what I mean? They chose to come and commit to the bubble and, and everything and giving their all to the rest of the season, you know? And so when you break that, it's just a little bit confusing to some people. A little bit embarrassing, you know? Like that's not something you brush off, oh well, it was just a little thing. It's like, you knew, you know what I mean? And for, this goes for anybody. If a Laker player does it next week, I'm gonna say the same thing. You knew. You knew you were supposed to be here. Everything revolves around basketball here. It's literally a bubble. And the court is in the middle. You know, so there's no real excuse. 
You know, you could have gone out for toilet paper. You weren't supposed to be out. That's the bottom line. That is the bottom line. So I hate to say it, you hate to see it. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that Clipper fans, I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments, you know, how you feel about this. You're like, ah, it doesn't matter, you know. We can break quarantine. I know you guys are gonna make excuses, you know. Who cares, we can break quarantine, it's fine, you know, whatever. You know, let's not even forget about the health risk that poses, you know what I mean? They're trying to do the bubble for a reason. They don't want a corona outbreak in the bubble, right? So let's just, it's just a courteous thing to not, you know, break those rules anyways. Besides the whole NBA thing. But, you know, the Clipper fans don't care about that. They, they, they'll, you know, but anyway, you know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I mean, I don't see any Laker players breaking quarantine, but. Or anybody else for that matter, but. I mean, it is what it is, you know. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed it. Click right here to watch this video if you haven't seen it yet. Click here to subscribe to join the Splash Squad. Follow me on my social medias. I hate to say it, you hate to shit. And that's all I have to say.